YouTube, what is good? It's your boy Gaming with Tyree Z back again with another video. And before we get to this mage tier list, I just want to say like the video, um, subscribe to your boy, and I also want to thank everyone for supporting my videos and the channel. Um, I see these tier videos are getting tons of traction, so again, I want to thank you guys. Um, I also want to apologize because I'm about to butcher all of these names um i did try to look them up and see how to pronounce them correctly but honestly i don't really care i'm just trying to get out the information for you guys for the tier list so yeah we, first one's going to be a yule Ven. that's how i think you pronounce it i looked it up but yeah yule Ven, he's going to be a mage shadow um again he's going to be hard to come by because he's a shadow hero shadow heroes are cancer you can unlock the summoning stone thingamabob at uh chapter like 19 when you're able to the holy fountain of life that's, that's what it's called but yeah you'll be able to unlock the shadow and light summons for the seeds of life at like chapter 19 or something like that don't quote me i just know it's further along in the game so um yeah let's get right back to it <clears throat> yeah my fault but yeah, you'll be able to summon them to give you a little bit more of a chance of getting them. But it's going to cost you, obviously, a lot of gems or seeds of life. I mean, that's obvious. That goes without being said. I'm not sure if you can use seeds of light, life to do the draw, but I'm pretty sure you can. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. He has a Nightmare Vortex. He summons a small vortex under enemies, dealing 480% of the attack damage to enemies and reducing their attack speed. So off rip there, that's going to give you an indication that he is a support damage mage. Um, yeah, anytime you see like reduction of healing, reduction of attack speed, attack reduction, that's more of supporty um indicators indicators for like cc are going to be stuns petrifies anything that controls the enemy so they can't move or attack those are um cc polymorph anything like that um for nightmare beam we have he takes the ring and shoots a laser beam at the direction of the target dealing 320 attack damage to enemies along the direction and reduces their health restoration by 30 percent and you know level two and three you got 40 and 50 for the reduction of the healing and then 480 560 for the attack again good 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 support um reducing healing effects is very helpful especially when you're going up against the priest team um that's a no-brainer uh, we'll go to the next one. We got Field of Dreams. Um, skill damage increased by 20% and HP increased by 15% at level 3, level 2, 15, 10, 1, 10, 5. Um, with all these mage heroes, you're going to see a common thing. It's going to be the skill damage because they use skills. All of us use skills, but I'm that's their main focus is like getting intellect or building intellect in world of warcraft for mages this is like skill damage for them so um touch of hell pretty much is like a suicidal thing um whenever he dies or gets killed he's going to do damage equal to his max hp at level one is 40 percent to the enemy with the highest attack um and then the damage increases to 65 and it also adds on a healing reduction effect to the guy uh enemy hero that has the highest attack and it re did reduces it by 20 percent and then level three sorry i just try to read it so i comprehend it correctly you know uh and then the damage is increased to 150 percent at level three um next i'm pretty sure you say this ulch right ulch um this guys if you need raw good damage with cc this is going to be your guy um interplanetary magnetic storm is going to summon energy lightning dealing 200 attack damage and 360 attack to all of the targets within the circle so if you can manage to get all of the enemies in a the circle they're all going to take damage um again this is like more of an aoe type of ability which is good anything with aoe is amazing because it hits more than one target and if you can get all the targets in 
the the uh, radius is going to hit all of them for a massive amount of damage. Level two is at 300. Level three at, it's at 400. And then the uh, to all targets within the range is increased to 460. And then at level three, all the targets within the range is increased to 560. I'm a little confused on that. So he summons a lightning dealing 200 damage and 360 of attack damage to all targets within there. I guess. I guess this is all in together. I, I don't know. It kind of makes no sense in a way. But I guess whoever's in the range of the area is just going to get more damage. Um, this, this is a... a very interesting skill here every three basic attacks he summons a lightning to deal he summons lightnings to deal 240 percent of attack damage to a random enemy there is a 40 percent chance to stun the target for 2.5 seconds and then the damage is increased to 40 or 400 percent of attack at level two and there's a 50 percent chance then level three 560 60 percent chance um, the only reason why it's not higher than 60% is because it would be quite disgusting. <laughs> At least there is a chance that you won't get this done, and that goes both ways. So if you're playing against this guy, <laughs> you don't want to be getting stunned every three basic attacks. So that's the reason why it's at 60. But again, it's very, very powerful. <clears throat> that means he can constantly stun somebody if you're on the greater side of the 60%. So... Just keep that in mind. Chain of Lightning is definitely a very, very good ability on this guy. Um, his concentration is going to increase his skill damage by 35 at level 3. HP, 20%. And then crit rate, 15%, which is very, very good. Um, yeah, I'm looking to actually add this guy to my team. The only bad part is it's so hard to come by him unless you're using Kingdom Medals. Um, again, he's going to be a little more obtainable because he's a Legion. So you can get lucky and get him and summons and stuff like that um so yeah it's not going to be as hard to get duplications of him versus the other uh Yolvin because he's shadow um again you can also do seas of life to get a p potential chance of pulling him as well um and last but not least the energy blast he triggers whenever he triggers a critical cool hit increases the skill damage by five percent for eight seconds which can stack up if three stacks which is very good so yeah you just you just really like to see this this goes very very well in combination with this concentration one thing i hope that the the uh, developers add is they tell you that these are passives or they tell you if this is an ability or not i mean i know this is a passive but they should just really add that just to you know help out new players understand which ones are casting abilities which ones are passives and not have people just go off of just you know just being knowledgeable but um yeah you you like to see the uh combination when you can stack whatever skill or attack damage you have with your passive just to uh kind of elaborate on that because that was it kind of didn't make sense but Anytime you have like a skill damage increase or like crit rate or attack damage and then your uh, final ability also gives you attack damage or skill damage in this case is really good because they work very, 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 very well together because they're obviously the same thing. And then you could get potentially you're getting 20 times 360 plus the 35 percent at level three. That's. 95 percent skill damage which is incredible so just to put things in perspective that's very 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 nice to have um yeah ultra is definitely a very very good mage if you could get duplications of him and level him up i would definitely recommend getting him and he also looks very very cool so yeah uh let's go to last but not least is going to unfortunately be a uh, where is he? Sinclair. Going to be a light hero. Uh, only reason why I say unfortunate because, again, they're super hard to come by. Even when you buy them with medals, they're all going to be 120 medals. And medals take forever to stack up. Um, it's not hard to get medals. It just takes a while because you have to, you know, be an active player and you got to be doing the events and stuff like that. So 
yeah, it's not hard to get the medals. It just takes a while to stack them up. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Um, field of the uh, trail or trial arrows. Um, why shouldn't it be trail? But it's trial. But um, yeah, Sinclair summons the trial arrows from a uh, from the gates of light and shoots towards the targets, dealing 560 attack damage to enemies along the way. That's why it should be a trail because it's a it's leaving a trail of arrows. But whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, nothing much to say here. He's other than um, to, I like to mention he's gonna clear buffs and dispel buffs on the enemy team, which is very very helpful. Um, that right there is a indicator of a support hero or a support damage hero. Um, unless this guy has healing in his kit too, that would make him very disgusting. So let's find out. But yeah, level two and three is at 720, 960, and you're dispelling six buffs, which is amazing. So anyone that gets hit with this is pretty much losing all of their buffs. Um, yeah, let's go to the next one. Mm, oh, he does have a healing ability. So <laughs> that's three. Um... I don't even know what you would call it, but he does damage, he has support, and he does healing. So that's really, really good. Um, that's why I guess people rate him very, very high. Uh, I've actually never read any of this guy's abilities. I don't, I haven't, I don't read any of the light or any of the shadow people's abilities until I started doing these videos because they're just so hard to come by. My main focus is on the heroes I already have and the heroes that I'm able to obtain. But, um, yeah, let's get back into it. Um, Sinclair heals the ally with the lowest HP by 10% of his... Oh, 10% of the ally's max HP and dispels one debuff, which is awesome. Again, that's healing and support. So, yeah, this guy is uh, looking to be very, very, very desirable and also just disgustingly broken. Like, he's going to give you damage, support, and healing. Like, come on. That's very good. <laughs> Uh, health restoration is increased by tw uh, to 25% of the target's max HP, and the number of dispel debuffs is increased to 2, and at level 3, it's up to 40%, and it debuffs 3 spells, which is amazing. Um, yeah, Wrath of Gods, he's going to get the uh, skill damage increase, we've already seen this before, um, similar to the last two, but it's just a little lower. He gets more HP, but less of the skill damage. And then lastly, then we got a Mind Manipulate. When the battle begins, increases the attack speed of five allies by 2% every eight seconds. For eight seconds, stacking up to five. That's, that's really good. Five stacks? Jesus Christ. All right, let's just come down and look at level three. So the time interval is decreased to four seconds, but the bonus attack speed is increased by five. So it can stack up five times. <laughs> so you're going to be having 25% increased attack speed for four seconds when the battle begins, which is uh, honestly, you could end the game within that four seconds, depending on how strong your team is. Um, yeah, I wish I was being a little exaggerated but that's kind of true like you could do a lot of damage in four seconds um depending on your runes and stuff like that too you could do a ton of work in four seconds um but yeah there's not much more to say to that um that's gonna be probably most likely it for the maids tier list um yeah i started from the greatest tier one to like the least greatest tier one uh, in my opinion, uh, I, I definitely would say it's quite on par. Um, Yovelin is going to give you the most damage, and then Alch is going to give you the second most damage, and then Sinclair is going to give you the third most damage, and then with support, um, Sinclair is going to give you more support because, again, he does have healing, and then he has the um dispels which is very very helpful and then he has the healing and then more dispel debuffs on his teammate so yeah that's he's going to definitely come in an an advantage for um support and then for 
healing. He only Sinclair heals out of the three. So, yeah, if you're looking for a healing support damage, Sinclair is your guy. If you're looking for CC and damage, I would definitely go with Ulch or Ulch. He's very, very good. Does a lot of damage, and he has this stun CC, which is amazing, every three seconds. And he also, I think he does, uh, nah, that's it. And then, you know, obviously you have Yulvin, who's just going to give you a ton of damage, and he has support because he reduces attack speed. Um, He has the healing reduction as well, and then he also has a suicide time bomb type thing, so whichever... Whenever he dies, he's going to most likely, depending on what level you have him at, he's most likely going to kill the enemy's highest attack hero. So, yeah. it's going to be it for the Mage Tier 1 or S Tier video. Uh, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel. And, yeah, that's going to be it. I'm out. Peace.